So many of you guys probably know by now, Adrian Broner um, didn't get arrested, but got a citation uh, because he was at Dre's nightclub. If you've been to Vegas and you want to go to an after hour spot, Dre's is the spot if you want to hang out with your who's who in hip hop and music and urban community, contemporary community. I suggest you go there, <laughs> but uh, getting back to what, what happened to Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner basically put his hands around the waitress and said, bitch, I will knock you out. I mean, I will, yeah, end quote. And whether this is true or not, you know, um, you don't want to assume guilt on anyone in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the judicial system just based off of past history and what we know about it as it relates to minorities. So he's innocent to proven guilty. And but what I want to talk about is I, I had a conversation with a guy yesterday at a basketball game and I said uh, Adrian Broner's train wreck has left the depot already and I've said this in other videos before the train wreck is coming and he, TMZ is gonna be right there to film it um, suicidal thoughts last week choke basically uh, uh, been alleged, allegedly choking a waitress. The train wreck has left the depot, guys. And uh, Maya Angelou says, when a person shows you who they are, you best believe them. And believe them the first time, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth, the Agent Broner, not the 19th, not the 20th time. You know? Um, he is who he is, guys. And he's probably, what, 30 days removed from jail? four days away from suicidal thoughts. <laughs> man, he is who he is, man. Uh, right now, he's just, I mean, he's never been one of my favorite fighters, but I i was immersed, submerged in his talent, you know what I mean? But his lack of character, his proven, I'm gonna say that for you guys get on me, his proven lack of character in past instances has allowed me to devalue his his raw talents in the ring and uh, so there you have it we'll have to sit back and wait and see let the judicial system do its course but he's gonna give us seventy five thousand dollars and hundred thousand dollars and it's gonna go away because it's just a well I don't know if it's a misdemeanor maybe the DA will upgrade it to a felony I don't know but um, we we'll had to sit back and see but Adrian Broner's character is proven flawed. There's no, there's no more circumstantial evidence. There's no allegedly in terms of his character. He is a terrible person, you know? And for us not to acknowledge it and hold him accountable, as I told you guys, I'm a, I'll do my best talking, but Adrian Broner is so kiddish in person. You know, I'm fortunate enough where I can rub elbows with him and talk to him for real. I mean, he doesn't even know who I am, but I'm talking about just in terms of just, I can have a conversation with an Adrian Broner, but he doesn't value it. You know, I, you know, that's just who he is. So um, the prayers didn't work. <laughs> Y'all prayed for him in the past. It didn't work. <laughs> so jail didn't work. His fifth or sixth, maybe seventh kid didn't work. Um, so, uh, his idol taking him under his wing didn't work. Al Heyman, arguably top 10 most successful black men in America, didn't work. So, I mean, so, so what's a, a quote unquote to him, a YouTube V blogger? How was he gonna help him? <laughs> For crying out loud, he got, he got Sam Watson and Al Heyman. Uh, in his corner and those guys can't get through get through to him and those guys got great habits you know what I mean good character good proven proven good character in terms of Al Heyman and Sam Watson if they can't get to him guess what <laughs> your prayers in the YouTube world ain't gonna get to him either so anyways barbershop conversation guys uh, there's a lot of sarcasm and a lot of truth in sarcasm so um, we'll see what happens tomorrow Barbershop Conversations. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.